Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. This is the band, Seven Spires, that literally stole the show during the Dragon Force tour of North America. I saw them in Houston, they blew me away, and I've been listening to their music on my playlist ever since. This is my, I, this is going to be my third reaction to this band. This one is from the previous album back in 2021, but it's amazing. So to all of you, this is Seven Spires. The song is to come. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. The Patreon link for those who want to support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget, twitch.tv slash OldSchoolNerd. We're doing all the live streams. Doing the reactions we can't do on YouTube. Playing some video games and trying not to get banned on Twitch. Which is harder than it, it appears. That doesn't matter. What matters is Seven Spires. Now, um, you have Adrian, the lead singer. Her stage presence is ridiculous. Her voice is beautiful, but live on stage, she can hold a crowd. It's, it's uncanny. Some people just have that ability to just captivate a crowd. Corey Taylor, Freddie Mercury, and so on. The list goes on and on. I'm not saying she's one of those people, but she's well on her way because People just adore her. And she's got the vocals to back it up. Now let's talk about the rest of the band. You got Jack on guitar. Jack. He's an amazing guitarist and he had and he has a name like a pirate, and he seems to be the most like a pirate. You got Chris, the machine. Not no, not Burt Kreischer drunk Russian machine. The machine on the drums. I think his his only fault is that. He's a machine on the drums. He does not stop. I think sometimes Jack has to like throw stuff at him during live shows. Like, dude, song's over. All right, cool. Um, and then there's, there's Peter. Now, the only thing more beautiful than Adrian's voice in this band is Peter's hair. Okay? And I know you don't get to see it much in videos, but I'm telling you, this dude shows up on stage in a ponytail. When he undoes the ponytail and does like this, oh, it's like, it's like magical clouds of locks of beauty flow from this man's head. And you're thinking, okay, so he's a pretty boy. What else? He has massive bass chops. <laughs> massive bass chops. I make jokes that if I could have two things from this band, I'd want Peter's hair and half of his bass talent because he's that good. How do I prove it? Well, let's play this song. Starts with water. And then at the end of this reaction, hang around. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek into something. It's not a video, but it's one of my favorite songs. And you can find it on, on different music streaming platforms. That if you love what you hear on this one, there's a new song on the new album that I haven't seen a video for yet. But they do play it in their live set. Literally had the crowd going. Did you hear that? Literally. Let's get started. I'm going to move my beard out of the way. It's a lot of me. Too much me. So I'm going to, here we go. That's better. All right. This is Succumb by Seven Spy.
I told you. I told you. Peter is not just a hair model for a Vita or a Viral Sassoon. When he's not doing hair modeling, he is a freaking beast on the base. An absolute beast. And he does that shit in the live show, too. Okay, this song is very epic sounding. Similar to like a Nightwish or an Epica. Maybe a little Battle Beast kind of style. The musicianship is very, very high level. But it's very anthemish, right? It's, it's very melodic storytelling, right? If this is your first time seeing Seven Spires, enjoy the musicianship. That doesn't change, okay? The level of musicianship is sustained. The level of vocal does not change. But this band, it does seem like, okay, they're on the soundtrack for Pirates of the Caribbean 10, The Return of Jack Sparrow, right? But there's more to this. Gods of Debauchery, the new album. See, this is from the Albion previ uh, album previous. The one for Gods of Debauchery, Adrian goes dark. And not just her hair. There's some growling, harsh vocals. There's more of this beautiful vocal, melodic style. And there are some songs in the new album that do go a little darker in tone. So if this is your first time checking out this band, I did do a reaction to Gods of Debauchery as my first reaction to this band. Two totally different feelings, two totally different aspects of storytelling. Two different genres, really. One more of a death metal, something very dark. And then this, which is more power metal anthem style. Both incredible for what they are, but it shows the range and creativity and diversity in this band. Oh, and you caught Peter going off on the bass, right? I want to make sure you heard it because he's going to do it again. Let's keep going. Let's just throw some 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 violins, cellos. Why not? Yeah, that was Peter playing the cello. I'm when I try to tell you the musicianship of this band is legit. It really, really is legit. Okay, I know I make fun of hair, and he's the machine, and Jack looks like a pirate. Blah 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 blah. Okay. When I tell you they stole the show at a Dragon Force concert, now understand, Dragon Force's concert in North America uh, this last fall was amazing. I mean, the video games, the, the musicianship of Dragon Force is always through the roof. Seven Spires opened the show. They were the first band, and they come out and do this. By the way, this is not just studio. They can do this level live. Live, it sounds like this. 
they opened up with that. The crowd was like, who the hell was this band? And you were like, that was the first one. Luckily, they had seven, uh, they had, um, seven Spires and Visions of Atlantis. You had they were Firewind and then Dragon Force. So the lineup was, was well done. But this opened the show. Here's my favorite part about this band. They got done with their set, went to the merch table, and worked their asses off. They spent, I sat there and chatted with Chris. And for those who have ever seen my reaction to Gods of Debauchery, when I make the joke of he had tails and he flipped his tails off of the chair, even though he wasn't wearing tails, and it looked like he flipped his tails before a, a, a classical pianist sits down at the piano, you know, flips their tails off. And it looks like he does that before the start of Gods of Debauchery. I talked to him and he said, dude, it was my in-ear cord. Every time I sit down, it pulls them out of my ears. I know exactly what he's talking about because I'm having trouble with mine right now. So he was trying to get his in-ear cord out of the way and it looked like he was being a pompous dick. But Chris isn't. Chris is an amazing guy. He's also the machine. Jack, totally cool. Hung out with him for a bit. But Peter really spent the time talking about the road, talking about their approach to music, the amount of effort they put into it. Man, Peter's a really great guy. I can't say enough about Peter. I um, mean, of course, Adrian is mobbed by every single person at the venue wanting to take pictures with her. So you know what she did? Smiled and took every damn one of those pictures. Why? Because she captivated 1,500 people in a music hall in Houston and everyone fell in love with her. Like, everybody. Humble band. Creative as hell. And what you're seeing right here, that's the level that they play live. Can't go wrong. We're going to finish out this song, and then I have a little special something that I want to give to you guys, that if you want to hear something that really sets the tone for the future, I got something for you. Let's finish this out. That's pretty damn good, man. Seven Spires. Damn good logo. All right, so that that will literally just sit there for a bit. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna let this play again. While it's playing, we'll talk a little bit more. Okay, so this is from uh, Frontiers, I believe the the album before Gods of Debauchery. Um, check out my video for Gods of Debauchery. Okay, and um, you'll see a little bit more of their darker side, which is pretty damn cool. On the new album, Gods of Debauchery, which came out last year, okay, they've released Lightbringer, which is more of a Amarith kind of thing. It's poppy but metal and poppy and metal, right? Kind of, a, kind of like what Amarith does. And then Gods of Debauchery, which is really dark, and you're like, what the hell is going on? And then you have things like this, Succumb, which is like, okay, pirates, death metal, but then there's pop. And so the band can do anything, literally. There was one song at the concert in Houston that they have on their set list that Peter goes off on the bass. He sat up on the neck and just destroyed the crowd. The crowd, I mean, it's funny because Adrian does captivate the crowd. She was wearing this golden breastplate looking bodice thing that would look like it was solid gold. And she was standing there and she just had the crowd right here, right? The whole in her the palm of her hand the whole time. But when they started playing this song, Peter started playing this rendition in the middle part where he literally sat up on that neck. And like you see right there in the video, and everyone just went. Do you see that shit? Like, that's literally, pe like, people went from, ah, you know, overhead clap the whole, so just, 
And the song is called Oceans of Time. And after the show, as, mu- as many people were like, oh my God, da 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 I literally looked up which song it was that I saw Peter go off on. And I went up to him after the show. I said, look, I don't know what your next video from this album is going to be. And they haven't produced one yet. I said, I don't know what your next video is going to be. But dear God, please at least post a bass playthrough of Oceans of Time. He goes, dude, I would love to do that. Of course he would. That song is insane. So this is what you need to do. Go to Amazon Music, iTunes Music, Spotify, whatever your favorite musical platform is. Find the album from Seven Spire, okay? Look up Oceans of Time. It, it is a literal how to impress the entire room using a bass guitar. That, that's literally what I mean, to this moment, I'm still blown away by that. I can still think it in my head how much everyone in that, in that hall, the couple thousand people in that music hall went. And they were just froze by it. Seven Spires. An amazing band with amazing people, talented musicians, and there's nothing they can't do. And what's funny, again, I'm going to tell you this. They're this good live not a joke i'm not just saying it to kiss their ass i mean i'm not they've already signed the uh the license plate on the wall so i don't need them to do that again but i'm just saying like <laughs> they're that good so please check them out check out um check out oceans of time if you can check out my other reactions especially on gods of debauchery if you want to see the darker side of this band my name is old school nerd and uh, this is adrian and the boys we'll see you later How?